everyone and welcome to a reading vlog. I am in Central Park and it is beautiful but hot outside and I am reading, wait for it, wait for it, Ninth House and I am a hundred pages in. I started this reading vlog very late into the book because I knew this would take me a long time to read. If you do not know what Ninth House is, this is Leigh Bardugo's kind of delving into the world of adult literature and she is writing a fantasy book. It is about a girl named Alex who goes to Yale after surviving a homicide and she gets kind of trapped into this secret society where they prey on the living, they prey on the dead, she sees ghosts. There's a bunch of occult activities. It's great. It's a really great book. I will admit that the beginning is a little slow for my taste, but I know that's how Leigh Bardugo works. So I know it's going to get a little bit better. So I'm going to be reading hopefully a lot of pages in Central Park because it's really nice. It's really peaceful here. So hopefully I can get deeper into it, give you an update because right now all I have to say is I feel like there's a lot of info dumping, not in a bad way, but like it's a little bit slow. I will say that. So let's see if I could get any reading done here. Hopefully I will because there's not a lot to distract me here. I forgot to also add, I'm here with Roxana. Oh god, my face looks bad. <laughs> we are in Central Park reading. Oh god, it's so it's so sunny out. It, it's a good time. What are you planning on reading? Um, maybe this one. Truly Devious? Maybe. Maybe. We don't know yet. We'll decide. We're indecisive. We'll update you. <laughs> okay, so I'm up to page 200 in Ninth House and things are picking up. Things are much better than the beginning, which was a little bit slow. So much is happening. I can't tell you any of it because that would be all spoilers, but ghosts are fighting and like Halloween parties are happening. It's crazy. It's it's a time. It's it's very entertaining and I'm deep into it. I'm very excited to see what happens next. The book's about 500 pages, so we still have 300 pages left to go and I truly do not know what's going to happen next. Okay, I'm back with another update literally like two seconds later. <laughs> I read like one paragraph and I just hate how one secret society in, the, in this book is called a book and snake and I'm just like out of all the words to use to describe a secret society, you choose book and snake? <laughs> Book and Snake is not menacing whatsoever, but anyway, back to reading. Hello everyone, let's just get a load of this classic low angle shot, but I do want to update you on my reading. Currently in ninth house, I am on page 219 and I'm just gonna get reading. I'm in my front porch, I have to put on a better outfit because it's very hot. And let's just get into this book because I love how unlikable the main character is. She's very snippy, she's very tough, she knows how to get into a fight and win. Mm, I love her. It's getting a little bit darker out because it's about to rain and pour and all that, which matches the mood of Ninth House because we're here for spooky vibes, but I'm also here for good lighting, so I might have to move inside in order to continue reading. So, if you see a change of setting, that's why. Hello, hi, and welcome to another day because your girl can't finish books within one day. We are up to page 300 of Ninth House 
and I'm just gonna get to reading. Things are happening. I learned like a very important part of the main character's past, Alex, and I'm like shook and the plot twist made me so much more invested and I cannot wait to see what happens next because Alex is an actual evil main character and I'm here for it. We love an evil mini Amy Dunn. Hello, it's the next day and last night I told you I was going to read Ninth House but that was a dirty lie because after I filmed that specific clip I texted Hannah telling her that I had a BTS song stuck in my head and I like tweeted all about it and so many people told me it's called Boys With Love so I decided to listen to that song and then Hannah just kept on sending me BTS music videos and interviews and I fell down the BTS rabbit hole. I watched about three hours of BTS videos and I did not think I would end up liking the band so much but their dances, their matching outfits and like the set design and the editing of those music videos are phenomenal. Strictly from like an editing perspective, it's like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen from a music video and I just like fell down a rabbit hole and I learned what biases are and I learned what bias records are. I'm learning so much BTS and K-pop lingo and I just love them so much and I've just been watching interviews and music videos and I've ruined my entire life and I did not expect this to happen but today we will read ninth house i have about a hundred pages left and i'm hoping i can finish it today if not i will finish it tomorrow but it will happen ninth house will be finished hello hi it's the next day um i have 40 pages left in ninth house I'm sure there are good 40 pages. Have I read today? No. But I just want to let you know, I'm not reading Ninth House because I discovered BTS live streams. And it's taken over my life. I just love watching boys be soft and just so kind to each other and that's exactly what BTS live streams are. Instead of reading, I'm watching those live streams. So. This vlog is basically Olivia Reads Ninth House slash you see the evolution of me discovering BTS and it taking over my life. I finished Ninth House and I have I I'm not sure what I would rate it I I've kind of steered clear of rating books lately because like I feel like my rating changes over the years and also I feel like ratings don't like encapsulate my whole feeling about a book so I just want to say this isn't my favorite Lee Bardugo book, but it was really fun and I also ended on a cliffhanger so now I'm eagerly awaiting the sequel. I thought the beginning was a little bit slow, which is kind of the usual for Lee Bardugo books. It always starts off really slow, there's a lot of world building, there's a lot of introduction to characters that you're kind of like catching up with and you're a little bit confused but you're like on this ride and you're like I kind of enjoy this ride so I'm gonna be on it for a while. So in the beginning it was very hard to get into, I will admit that. It took me a while to just dive into the world and into this society full of secret societies in Yale and while I feel like those worlds and those societies weren't really explored as much as I wanted them to, there was only like one society that really was explored. I did really enjoy it. I really enjoyed the main character, Alex. She did not give a crap about her morals. She did not care what other people thought about her. She was just a very go-getting 
evil main character that reminded me of Amy Dunn from Gone Girl and I just loved her attitude. It was really refreshing to see a bad main character, especially a bad main character that's a woman because we hardly ever see that in literature without her being judged and I like how she was just kind of evil and it was accepted and I thought that was a really interesting thing to explore in the book and I thought the societies were really cool. I just wish they were explained more because there were certain magical elements and certain spells and certain rituals that they did where I kind of felt like I was a little bit lost, like I wasn't sure what was really happening until towards the end when everything was tied together. But it was a really enjoyable book. I really enjoyed how intricate it was. And I also really liked the fact that we see a ghost throughout this entire novel and he kind of follows along with Alex throughout the story. And he's a very quiet figure because of course he's a ghost so he can't speak. But he has such a large role in this novel and I really enjoyed him and I'm really hoping that we'll see his character get fleshed out even more in the next novel. I turned on some lights to make this look much more aesthetically pleasing than it actually is. So I wouldn't say this is my favorite Leigh Bardugo book, but it was an interesting ride. It's a very interesting turn that she's taking within her writing style, and her writing style is much more darker in this. I'm not one who's that much into like witchcraft and spells and all that, but reading about it was very interesting. I thought that was a really interesting aspect of the book. So I would say if you're into like some secret societies, dark academia, witches, spells, fantasy in a modern setting, I would highly recommend this. I know everyone's excited for this book. I'm not giving the, the book justice with my review, but I will say that I had a lot of fun with it. I took it very slow because there were so many details of this book that I just didn't want to miss. There was so much description that you just like don't want to breeze over because it's very much atmospheric and it's very detail-oriented and it's not heavy on the dialogue it's much more heavy in description so it was something that i wanted to take slow and i feel like the release date which is october is going to fit perfectly with the novel because of course it's very spooky and creepy and there's ghosts and there's murder and there's a murder mystery and yeah so i finished ninth house it happened i also got into bts within this week that i read ninth house which is just so many plot twists in this reading vlog. I did not expect the things that happened in Ninth House and I did not expect to fall in love with BTS, but here we are. Finished Ninth House and now I have a new obsession to just lose my mind over. But yes, I read Ninth House. It was a trip. I'm still processing, but this is like my, my immediate thoughts about the novel. I won't be like, I wouldn't say it's my favorite book of the year, so do with that information as you will. And I will not be giving a rating because I feel like ratings are so limiting now and I just feel like my ratings always change when I go back to my Goodreads and I'm like, I shouldn't have given it five stars, I should have given it four stars. So I'm not gonna give a rating, I'm just gonna say that like I really enjoyed it and I think that Lee Bardugo is going into a very dark and eerie type of writing style that I'm really excited to see more of because she is the queen of spookiness. I had a lot of fun with Ninth House and I also had a little bit of issues with it, so I'm going to leave off the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching this messy vlog and all the things that were included in it besides just reading. And I will see you around. I hope you have a good day and let me know your thoughts about Ninth House, if you're excited for it, if you didn't even know what Ninth House was. Let me know if you have other Dark Academia book recommendations because I'm always on the lookout for that. That's a specific trope that I am obsessed with, so I would love to read more about that as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video. Ninth House and I say goodbye. Mm -hmm.